So we're gonna talk about Walla Kahuza and his victory. So um, I'll start off by saying this was my second year at Walla and um, I think they did a really good job. Oh yeah. So um, well, first of all, I think it's special because right now I'm over here with Mr. Squad Creator Podcast himself. <laughs> All right, so let, let me, where can people find you at? Uh, all social media is Mike T or Mike T 223. Um, I try to stick with that across the board. It's why I create a podcast to say um, TikTok, YouTube, Instagram. We in here. And Breeze, where can people find you? Uh, Breezy Cup Creations, we the same, uh, well, all the platforms. It's Breezy with two E's at the end. K for Cupcom and C. Please. All right. So my bad. I was kind of unprofessional. We dealing with a veteran interviewer <laughs> over here, so I had to pump my brakes. All right. So yeah. So like I was saying, we we did the water pollution thing last year. Yep. It was my first time meeting Mike, which was great. And you know, this is my first time meeting you. Right. This is my first water um, I talk to y'all all the time. You know, for, for our contest stuff like that. So. I'm very excited to meet both of you guys. Life world. Um, this industry is, is growing, and it's an honor to sit down with you, my trick on here. So, I don't hold the, the fact that I'm doing interviews for like four years. <laughs> Too high. All of this is free flowing. Let's yeah. get into it. So, um, I don't know. What, 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 what do you want to talk about? Like, how, how was day one for you? Well, y'all was here last year. So, a lot of people were here last year. And just hearing everybody say that it's way different this year than it was last year. So, I can't really speak on, like, so my experience is like, it's, it's fine. You know what I mean? But y'all seen it before it was like this. Like, however they did last year. You know, so y'all seen it last year. I'm just my first year. So, um, I've never been to any of these events before. Yeah. You know, so for me, it's an honor that they even invited me. You know what I mean? Um, and I'm just grateful. It's coming up, so. I'm trying. It's going work, you know? Yeah. Don't see no they need us as much as we need them. Right. Y'all provide content, and y'all provide what I call content of value and not just making video. It's definitely needed, and it's something that's going to call rankings every time. So, um, I think at some point you had asked me, like, uh, like what, what you might think benefit of coming to an event like this with me. Right. Um, I would definitely say networking is the biggest benefit. Being able to have a relationship with somebody like Mike T. Uh, and know that when I see him, I can go, hey man, you wanna you know, sit down and, and talk? You know what I mean? And, and be able to meet you in person and yeah. talk to you, you know what I mean? Right. And establish that connection. I think that's so important. Uh, and then also meeting a lot of the vendors and being able to voice my opinion directly to them, you know, um, you know, like it, it's like what I have to say, you know what I mean? But, you know, at least I'm just going to tell you, blah, 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 and if we can change, blah, 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 I think it'll be better, you know what I mean? So I, I think that that's a, a real good, important thing to be able to do face to face with some of these vendors. I think, uh, under here, I mean, I'm not saying that this is going to happen, but I think that this uh, is a is a place to start relationship with the vendors. You know, we already purchased from them, you know, use their equipment and their vinyl and their trans, you know what I mean, all that. So I feel like this would be a good way to get your foot the door to work with them, you know what I mean? You know, I mean, you know, I'm I'm just waking this but after after today, playing for my channel. It's done in profit for a lot. They're gonna share a mailing list now. 
all the exposure from the different cameras you're going to put out there. You know, whether you want it to be or to not be, it's definitely going to push your camera a lot more. Um, shout out to Heat Transfer Warehouse for throwing the wall of yes. And as you mentioned earlier, last year it was definitely nice. You can see the improvements that they made this year from last year and kind of projected what it's going to be next year as well. And um, also, on the last year, did you know Angie Hogan before last year? Yeah. Okay, so you did. Yeah. Okay, so. Uh, Shout out to the sheep, not the chick. Yeah, because uh, you, uh, you were a part of that, uh, what was the program called? Um, so, that was Crafting for Profits. Crafting for Profits. Um, there you go. And basically, it's a program that teach up and coming you know, the trade, the skills behind it, and give them a one-on-one counseling session. As you said, it's kind of hard to reach a lot of people in the industry. Some people don't respond back. Um, for me personally, I'm talking to everybody. My bridge ain't quick for nobody. So at the end of the day, it's all about helping each other get to that next level. And like I said before, what better way to do it than network, you know, coming to your Okay. So, I, I mean, my take would be, you know, uh, if you never met her or some of the people associated with that program, you you wouldn't have been provided the opportunity to be a part of the program. Oh, yeah. And so coming to things like this is what helps establish, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Yeah, it just helps you network so that that way the people know to reach out to you. You know what I mean? So that's definitely uh, a big benefit. So back to what you were saying. Um, as far as like walking through, I enjoyed like this was super intimate. Like we walked through in groups of what? I, two. You were in a group of two, weren't you? Yeah. You were walking by yourself. <laughs> but, you know, in uh, groups of like four and five, and we spent. Like maybe thirty minutes at each station. Fifteen. Fifteen minutes. They, you know, it was a speed thing. It kind of speed. speed. Thing. Okay. Okay. Fifteen minutes. And I, like, I was like that. Like that was enough time to talk. I'm like, wait, no, wait, wait. But it was, uh, it was a good outcome though. Oh my like, god. So did you get like some contacts and stuff like that? I did, and I'm, you know, hoping to work with a few people. Um, you know, uh. Oh, who would you like the most? Um, I love Caesar. Patrick. Yeah, Patrick. Happy birthday. Yeah, yeah happy birthday, Patrick. Yeah. And, um, yeah. Anna. Yeah. And, um, Priya. Oh, yeah. That's the white toga. Ah. Uh, I mean, I, I, I'm also interested in, um, Station. So, yeah, how you feel? How you feel? Who do you like the most? Um, I was most excited to speak with everyone, but I'm gonna say absence. Um, the dinner of DTG, Matthew, um, the whole crew, Mike, appreciate you guys. Uh, it was uh, well informative information. Um, we rely on those little crankiest absence a lot. A lot of people don't talk about that, so looking forward to interviewing them. Okay. Yeah, oh, you all set that up? Yeah. Oh, that's so good. Wait, uh, shout out to Carl. Uh, uh, See? Carl. Uh, I think he's interviewing tonight, right? Yes, uh, we have Pierre. Um, Let's Be Fly Folk came out and spoke with uh, C for a while. I hopped on there, but I'm at Wall of Food, so my bad. <laughs> uh, yeah, I mean, I think my favorite was probably probably the fact that they actually had some embroidery people here this time. Yeah. Like, um, uh, with, you know, the Stitch Cow, he had to introduce myself to him, uh, reach out to him, uh, get phone numbers and exchange contacts with everybody. But, um, yeah, definitely, I like the fact that there's embroidery now being offered by uh, the crowd. Uh, I didn't even know that. Yeah. I didn't even know that. Yeah, they had a uh, PE 800 now. So, right, I think you told me. Yeah, right, right. Yeah, so uh, that's available. So, 
you know, I, I think that's dope that they added that. And, um, uh, yeah. So I don't they, uh, each trans warehouse offers a lot of different, you know, things to help you as far as uh, the business, the printing industry goes. So, any avenue you hire for bride songs to vinyls and now ordering to DTF transfers to the machinery. I mean, they really are a hub for the print industry. Shout out to them once again. Yeah. And all that full of tape. Now everybody, it was a nice crowd, some nice turns. Yeah, I mean, this venue is dope. You know, yeah, yeah. like the venue is super dope. Uh, it's in a, a much different spot. Last time we were in a cathedral, right? Yes. Yeah, so um, that was nice as well, but this is Brew Hollow. Brew yeah. Hollow. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, they gave awards away this time. Will. Oh, yeah. Uh, who? Uh, Trina got an award. Yeah. Uh, Rich, uh, custom members got an award. Who else did they recognize? Another from Dave Stewart's Okay, yeah. What was our award for? I was. Um, kind of bouncing right? Comics? I believe so. Yeah. Okay. I was coming back to get some gelato. Uh, yeah. You must have super inhaled your dinner. <laughs> I didn't see you. Ooh, what? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Me, me and uh, Gary, What's shout out to Gary H. Hey, we was we was smashed. Was it good? Oh, yeah. Gelato? Oh, the gelato was good. Yeah, it was real good. I had like blueberry cheesecake gelato. Oh, okay. yeah, it was off the hook. I'm going to go down there. Yeah, yeah. off the hook. They said they're going to be down there until like nine. I'm like, no. Well, I'm taking it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what time is it? Eight, nine, seven, eight, nine. Okay. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, I enjoyed kicking it with Bella Cabin. So, yeah, did y'all have the wax? I had a bike park with wax. Yeah. yeah. I'm interested in him too. You say what? I'm interested in him too. Yeah. <laughs> so, the most important thing is you guys uh, give me contact that can utilize. A lot of people will go grab these contacts and will never reach out to the people. Oh, right. It's very important that you reach out. That was that connection you heard of. You're fresh in your mind. They just got this talk. That's sweet. I'm emailing, I'm calling, I'm setting dates. I'm, I'm making sure that they remember my face. So with that, you know, that strength is that connection. And then, you know, next year to time, and maybe flying you over here, over there, just, you never know. Never know. So wait, um, I look forward to uh, checking out uh, the New Bella Canvas 3010. Yes. Uh, I had to get Wes on tape, uh, breaking that 3010 down. Um, bigger than that, wait a minute, what about Jennifer Maker? Hey. Yo, she's wait. a legend though. Yeah. Jennifer legend. Maker is did here, y'all. Did you see the car? How much? Oh, yeah. I saw the bank roll. <laughs> the bank roll as it rolls up. So everybody in this was like, and that's, that's a year. That's, she's been doing this for years. You know what I mean? She is so nice, too. Yes, Very she nice. is. Down yeah. to her person. I, I didn't know she was from Ann Arbor. From Ann Arbor, Michigan. Oh, okay. Right down the street from you. Yeah. yeah. Way down the street from you. <laughs> <laughs> down the street and around the corner from me. I had told her um, when I first started to make a t shirt, um, she was one of the first people that popped up to be with the cricket, you know, because at, at that point I was trying to research which, which was the best, the best cutter. Yeah. And cricket, you know, I was like, okay, well, let me find out about the cricket. The cricket is Jennifer Baker, you know, but um, like heavy on the infusible inks. Oh, yeah. Have me go to Joanne's, buy every infusible ink on the shelf, any. Yeah. Along with the cricket, of course. But, oh, yeah. And I was telling her that, like, I said, you made me buy. She said, I made you, so you made me buy all the infusible ink on the shelf. Yeah. She like, I did that. You did it. It was your fault. I took all that money. <laughs> I, I was never able to use the infusible ink. I tried it once and I was like. I mean, with the infusible ink, there is definitely some definite limitation, you know. Uh, and that's where supplementation comes in. You know what I mean? But with the infusible ink, it, uh, it does what it's supposed to do. But people can't do it live. You know what I mean? But it is a good. Uh, it does look good, uh, pizza. Product. Yeah, it's good. Yeah, so, 
Uh, what else was going on? Who was the next action? Holly Tape. Holly Tape, over there. Chemica, Chemica. I'll be, I'll be, I'm trying to get that name. Mitch. Yeah. 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 So I'm gonna put the video on it and I'm telling Cook, no, you have a video on it, you know. Don't tell me something. You have a video on it, you know what I mean? But um, I got probably tickets to the printer, so I'll be great to eat. Okay. Right. I'm gonna drop a little piece of information on your interview if you don't mind, sir. So. You guys are just now getting into this. It's something that I wish I would have known when I first started. Draft yourself up a proposal, very important. A proposal says how much you want, what it is that you're looking for, and how you can be a benefit to that company. If you do that up front, it'll be smooth sailing. If you try to develop that two or three years later on, it may be a bit of a hassle. So, very important to keep that out of the way. So, what do you think? You know, about, oh, what do you think? Because somebody hits right now. What is the biggest thing that you think that you should put on your Really? So you set your standards. How much are you expecting to get for a shirt? Some people will say ten dollars. I ask them, you think that enough money to cover everything that you wish? But they'll do it. They'll do it because of the simple fact that I'm new. I haven't been here for a while. I haven't got a couple of dates. But if you put all quality stuff, you for it, though. Right. Try twenty five for today. You know. Um, but I can't say for any particular person, but I'm gonna let you guys know. I started asking two hundred and fifty dollars video and just spoke up. I don't get it now. It's like teams. Yeah, I think with, when I started, um, when I came up with my um, with my plan, I think mine was mine was like two hundred. You know, um, depending on how many videos you know from that but I think I started at two hundred. I just wanted to know like what you like what you thought. Um, like what you would suggest for somebody to start out, you know, um, what they should charge her, like her video or, you know, her post or whatever. And then it's, it's the way that you structure it too. You just want to do one video on a time or you want to offer the catalog, offer three video, we'll do a set of video, it could be a couple different colors. I'll make some content over that. Right. Um, shout out to DIY Alex, she was supposed to be here, uh, Alex and over. Um, she gave me a lot of tips a year and a half ago. You know, when I was going into contracts and had some different companies you know, for me to make videos. Like, you gotta set up a nice proposal letter. I'm like, I have a air proposal letter. She directed me to Canva and they kind of threw it out there for me. Oh, well, Canva got all that stuff? Canva has a template. Canva got everything. Canva has a business template. Proposals. Yeah. Okay. Go and check it out. Oh, wow. So this is breaking news to me, because I'm not doing any of that. You got it to that. I'm not doing any of that. Money. Well, that's what the wild of is for. I guess so. <laughs> I'm not doing that at all, but I'm not even monetized. So y'all so monetize. That doesn't matter. You got track hold in this game, and it's been here last year, you know what I'm saying? You're noticed doing yeah. interviews. So this is, this is time. I know this is something you're doing and you feel like it's just for fun, but you should also be paid for some information that you're doing. Wow. Uh, good my mind with that one. I think I'm going to blow a lot of people's minds this year. 2023 going into 2024. I'm going to be just dropping as much information as I can to the public, to the upcoming crafter. Things I didn't know, things I think that up new upcutters should know. Yeah. You know, a lot of, a, a lot of, I get a lot of this Yeah, it's a lot of gate. A whole lot of gate. Wow. You won't get there for my keys. Word. Yeah. Wow. That just blew my mind. That made me want to stop recording right now. <laughs> for real. Well, you know, you know, I mean, you know now. So utilize it. Mm -hmm. uh, they're not going to tell you. Yeah. And it's you're, just, in, you're in the mix, though. Yeah, you're in the you're mix. You're in the mix. Like we like like everybody knows you. Yeah. So so much monetized. 
like you hear it in the mix. That's gonna happen too. That YouTube, the algorithms are pretty tricky on all platforms. I don't even know. I haven't capitalized on on all of them. TikTok, I'm still staggering at like 850 or 860. I'm not too sure. I got 10K on uh, TikTok. You got 10K? 10K. But, it's not, but my YouTube is not over here to My YouTube is driving, but my TikTok is. My Instagram is driving. Facebook, okay. TikTok is TikTok over here. I mean, I'm still pumping my YouTube because that's what I that's where I started. That's what I want. Like, so I'm pumping today. And I mean, yeah. But TikTok is out of nowhere. I was like, but that's like, like woke up one morning to stay up. So what video went viral? Nothing went viral. Nothing went viral. How long have you been on TikTok? Um, I don't know, maybe a year. Wow. Maybe a year. Like after you know how you make an account and mm-hmm. then don't be on it, but after you like here, like <laughs> that's another thing. Be active on all your I'm social media on, I'm on TikTok. I'm barely active on Instagram. It's hard to dance for me anyway. All my kids was on TikTok. So they was like, dang, you know TikTok. I'm like, yeah, that's TikTok is, uh, I mean, so what I do now is I try to drive my TikTok followers. So to you yeah. Yeah. I'm, I'm just trying to get Instagram where I want that to be. That's yeah. really kind of slow. You know what I mean? But I have faith. I'm going to do it. Wow. So let me get this straight. So you charge people for your videos? Yeah. Or that's you it. charge people for your videos. Yeah. Oh yeah. Word. I wasn't as active on it until, you know, last year. But it was like, okay, these companies are gonna want like on contracts, they're asking for like three to five videos. You know what I'm saying? You got three months to spread out these videos. It's the biggest way to get up to the face girl. I mean, as long as there's not an NDA saying you can't talk about anything else, you know what I'm saying? I don't see the harm in it. It's like, uh, no, I mean, I, I, I dig it. And a short term contract, it's not yeah. a 10 year contract. I mean, the joint Jennifer Maker hit us with, though. But that's not, but we but we not wish yet, though. We ain't wish yet, yeah. You know what I mean? We're going to get there. There's just, you know, you got, I mean, that, that, that's what worked for her. So what did she say for, uh, her, for Jennifer Maker? Oh, so Jennifer Maker made it explicitly clear that she does not, she does not accept any free fees from any company that she wants to be able to have, uh, the clear, Opportunity to dislike or like the product on Makes her sense. own for her audience, and that's what she said. So, uh, she was also stating that you gotta be careful, it's okay to take and go into uh, make videos for you know some of these uh companies where right. take free product, but uh, you shouldn't put a cap on it. Can you can say, Yep, uh, about. Whether you like it or not, you know, she was saying that's very important. So that's what she said. It is I mean, important. You, you can always uh, try and offer, you know, to like, you know, I, you know, like I, I, I want the free good to say, but I want to say if they don't want you to, you know, tell the bad things, then you don't want to, you want to take the offer. So I, I put in all my videos at the very bottom of this, every video, go back and look. Um, this is based off of my opinion and my feelings, and it's for my audience. So, at the end of the day, if you have an audience that's loyal, they're gonna hold you accountable. These people will actually go and purchase based off of your video. Right. So if you keep it in a thousand with them or a stack with them, at the end of the day, I mean, they gonna support you. You do have the right to say no to any or any of the companies. The um, thing about saying no is just doing it in a respectful manner. You know what I'm saying. Right. And get on camera being like, oh, I hate this, and I ain't never, it's gonna be like this. Like, we just having a conversation about the shirts. I bring up the name. <laughs> I wanna bring up the name. But, but the shirts, you know, it's a professional way to handle things, and it's that, oh, uh, he about to be a grizzly bear, for real. He about to act up. He about to turn out. And 
I try not to show that side. But I, feel like I, don't, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> but I, I feel like uh, that there is always a nice way oh, yeah. to say. So he's doing a video, and let's say that's the vinyl. And the vinyl don't need good. You know what I mean? Or the vinyl don't uh, press well. You know what I mean? I think it's all it's, it's ways to say that this vinyl no, don't weed would like, you know, right. maybe you say stuff like, baby, if you weed it this way, you know, you know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. you know, it, it's ways to, to let people know because you just might not like the vinyl. Yeah. They, somebody might, 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 might buy it or they might like it. You know what I'm saying? But I just feel like there are ways to say that mind you should. But, you know, in a nice way, it's still keep your. I mean, it's going to show up. Your it's yeah, going to show, show up. up. Yeah, it's going to show up. A lot of times, too, these companies, what I think people are afraid of is to actually speak the truth. The company wants the truth. Because you got to think about the company you're producing it, and it may be a third party that's actually bringing it to the company. But the company themselves may not have the time to actually go through the testing phase. So yeah, we're going to give it to a few people out here in the audience. Let them test it and give us their honest opinion. I think you try warehouse ones. I think they can have the truth. I think Caesar can have the truth. I think it's a lot of companies out here that have the truth. I think some companies don't really want they, it's just clear. They go, oh, when you put this out, you got a hundred thousand subscribers. When you put this out, yeah. you can't say this, this, this. Oh yeah, they, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, and that's when you have the opportunity to be like, nah, you know what I mean? Yeah. So I've had a lot of opportunities with a lot of newbies, a lot of new companies sending me stuff, and I will make the video. But I will not publish the video if I feel like I'm coming off the arts. Um, there was a company that was sort of like Cotton Subs back in the day when Cotton Subs that came out, and that's a sublimation media that you can change the color on green shirt. It doesn't matter, Cotton polyester. Um, they wanted me to do a review, so I did the review, and I'm like, man, this is too many negative points. I sent them the video and I was like, I apologize, you know, I'm not gonna put this out on my platform because I don't want it to do more harm than good for it, if that makes any sense. But at first they couldn't accept it. They was like, just put the video out. I'm like, nah, I'll put this video out. You, you ain't gonna have to track. So, and a lot of times it's, we don't know the power that we have until somebody be like, yo, I've seen that video and I definitely ain't messing with them. But you get that like 10 times or 100 times over, you're like, oh, shoot, I could have messed up their money. You know what I'm saying? I mean, but you know, at the same time, you don't want your audience money to be messed up. Either. There you go. You get what I'm saying? The reason why, you know, we make it is our audience. You know what I'm saying? We wouldn't, we wouldn't be nowhere without the audience. You know what I'm saying? We, if there wasn't nobody on the other side of the, or the computer or the phone listening and watching. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, like it's nothing wrong with that impulse that you have. Right. But I, I guess what you're saying is you don't wanna you don't you wanna sleep that night. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You and don't I don't wanna, ultimately you don't know what somebody is you don't know their predicament. You don't know their position. You don't know what they they might have passed that product on in hopes that I would micro Jordan slam dunk it and now they making millions of dollars and I don't stand up to that. You know what I'm saying? I don't I don't deliver that. That Michael Jordan performance. I'm all like my face is looking crazy, you know what I'm saying? So you can do more than you can, you know what I'm saying? You don't want that to happen. Oh you come on over. The legend can come on in. I thought you could knock the camera over any time. <laughs> Am I in the shot? Come on. He said, Am I in the shot? You got it. Come on. sit right here. I got you. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Oh, my. No, you got to sit right there so we all fit in the shot. So we fit in the shot. Yeah. Yeah. We all in here. I feel like we on the uh, what is it called the uh, 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 David Letterman. David Letterman. Oh, uh, Magic Couch. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We got him. Y'all might want to pass that mic back and forth now. No, I think it's going to pick us up. All right, man. All right. Right. You know what? Um, let me get it. All right. I think it should be closer to the front, sis, because my back is on. 
There we Is go. that cool? There we are. There you yeah. are. Oh! oh! You break it, you boy. God damn. It's working. It's working. It's working.